Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is September the 4th at 9.28 a.m. I should have been at the eye doctor right now, but there was a little glitch or mix-up or something happened with the transportation agency, so I'm at home, so I'm going to make a video. I was going over some email, and I want to play for you in case you haven't heard yet. These two videos from Edward Elmlings. Now, um, one of you got um, a message or something. The two videos I shared, one was real long. It was Paul Bagley and Mike Around the World that I had said I didn't watch. I was only sharing it for anyone who was interested because you like them already. Okay, and the other was a very, very short one of Edward Umling. Like three short words. Like, uh, I think it was Houston, we have a problem. or some, Something real short like that. I don't remember which one. Anyway, and you got a vision saying or showing you the words foolishness, uh silly something like that four words and discussing it with the team last night we decided it had to mean the first one not what Edward Umling said we we all feel he's hearing from the Lord and so any of you that hear from the Lord would you please take it to the Lord as well let us all be in prayer and that this man is hearing from the Lord. I'm talking about Edward Umling. Because I usually, after listening to as many as I have, would have got a red flag by now, and I haven't. So, we do believe that the Lord had to have been speaking of Paul Begley and Mike around the world. Okay. So I'm going to play these. Uh, now wait a minute. Only ones. I here's what I did this morning. I <laughs> went into my settings to brighten my screen and found out that I could make everything bigger. <laughs> it's great. It's big. I I can read it all. Okay, but here's the thing. Um, I don't know if it didn't, let me see what happened. Okay. Whoops. No, that's the Houston one. Okay, this is a different Houston one. As I awoke this morning, okay. I heard these words. See, here's what happened. Nuclear attack. All right, so what I'm going to have to do, it won't, it won't hold them up there. So I'll go ahead and play this one, and then I'll go back into my history and play the one I had pulled up for you to go first. As I awoke this morning, I heard these words. Nuclear attack. Take note of it. There shall be no gloom from my holy ones. That means they shall not have a dark and somber appearance of despondency during these days, says the Lord your God. Houston, we have countdown. Okay, now that one was put up yesterday on the 3rd, 3,561 views. No gloom upon my chosen, it's called. No gloom upon my chosen. Edward Umling. All right, now let me go back into history and play the one I had pulled up to do first. It's called... My son. Hold on. Someone will soon take his position... On the platform. Okay. 
This was put up the second. My son, the platform which I spoke about is being raised. Someone will soon be seated and take his position in the earth. Many will be purified and refined, and the wicked will continue to be wicked. None of the wicked will understand, but those who are wise understand. You know what he's talking about, right? Trump will be gone and the Antichrist will take his place. Now how it happens, we don't know. He doesn't give a lot of information, just that it's going to happen. We know that already though, don't we? So um, it's called The Wise Understand. Put up September 2nd, Edward Umley. Okay. So with that, I'll say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, myself, the internet, my computer, and over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And I pray that we all are found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Because that's what he was talking about. The wise will have no doom or gloom, or however he worded it. We won't have doom or gloom because we'll be in our glorified bodies going around saving people. How else would we not have doom or gloom? If you're human still, and all these people in cities are dying, even Houston, how can you not? God knows that our hearts, well, doom and gloom, you could say, yeah, we could be sad over dead people and be praying for the ones who survived, but not have doom and gloom as if it's going to happen to us because we know different. If they blew us up, then we couldn't be raptured in a glorified body, we'd have to wait until the first resurrection, which is when Jesus comes to settle accounts at the Battle of Armageddon and set up his thousand year millennial reign. That's at the very end. So, no, that doesn't work, does it? In order to have a rapture of souls, persons, that's going to come back and be your harvest army. We have to be living. <laughs> See? So remember that. We'll pray for everyone we know isn't ready. And be ready ourselves at every moment. Because it can't be long now before we're just snatched up out of here. Transformed into the harvest army. Can you believe it? Oh, y'all, it would be so wonderful. Okay, I'm going to go for now. Talk to you later.